Right, we are here and we are dealing with this particular word problem. And uh, we note that here in this word problem, the sum of two numbers is eight. And the sum of their squares is 19 more than their product. What are the two numbers? So we need to solve this problem and we present a solution to this problem, noting first that the sum of the two numbers is eight. So we start um, writing down the solution and uh, we say let. Right, so let X be equal to the first number. Right, the first number. Y simultaneously actually in this case would mean the second number. Okay like so so that then we then say the sum of these numbers we add them up and the result is eight and this then means therefore we can be able to make y the subject and this is minus x plus eight call this here the first equation right next and the sum of their squares is 19 more than their product so in other words at this point, uh, we proceed to then say, if you compare the sum of their squares with the product, this sum of their squares is actually 19 more. And so if we are to put an equality and the sum of their squares is actually 19 more, it means therefore the product is 19 less and to effect an equality, we write like this. Okay, this equation can also be written as x squared plus y squared minus xy equals 19 to mean the sum of the squares is actually 19 more than the product. So that when you take the sum of the squares and uh, you subtract the product, the difference is 19. And that shows that the sum of the squares is 19 more than the product. Okay, good. So we call this one here uh, equation two. Right, now we can then proceed to then say put. Right, put one into two. Put one into two. Meaning y equals minus x plus eight. We put that into two. So this therefore becomes x squared in the place of y you have minus x plus 8 uh, you square this uh, minus x the y is uh, minus x plus 8 uh, and uh, this the result is 19 so in the place of y we have put minus x plus what plus 8 and that is clear and what this means then is uh, we can perform the following and then say x squared plus minus x plus 8 squared is equal to x or rather minus x into or minus x times right so this is minus x times minus x plus 8 like so, and the result is 19. And uh, hence, uh, as a result, uh, what does this mean? Well, it means therefore you have x squared. And uh, if you square this here, it becomes exactly x squared minus 16x plus 64 plus x squared minus 8x. And uh, the result is 19. Okay. So now we have x squared, x squared, and x squared, which is 3x squared. Okay. So we have minus 16 minus 8, which is minus 24x. All right. And then we have uh, exactly 64. 64 minus 19, which gives us 45. And the result is 0. We divide through by, uh, by 3. Right, uh, dividing through by three, 
we get exactly x squared minus 8x plus 15, and the result is 0, which means we have x squared minus 8x plus 45 is equal to 0. And so, in particular, plus 15. Right, plus 15, because that's what we have, plus 15. x squared minus 8x plus 15. Right, so that is what we have, like so. And uh, what are the factors? So this is exactly minus 5x, minus 3x plus 15, and the result is 0. Because uh, minus 5x and minus 3x are the factors of 15x squared, whose sum? whose sum, the sum of this is minus 8x. We pull out the highest common factor in the first two terms, getting x minus 5 here, minus 3 into x minus 5 here, equals 0. And this is x minus 5 into x minus 3 equals 0. Right, and this is what we have. So, which means that x is 5 or x is 3, right? So, if we have that x is 5 or x is 3, we then also need to have y. But y is actually equal to minus x plus 8, which means that minus that, so, which means equals three, or right, and right uh, at the bottom here. Let us uh, take note of that at the bottom here, which means uh, that at this point uh, we have uh, or. Okay, if why is this? So you'd have therefore um, that uh, y is uh, minus three plus eight. And this means that y is what? y is 5. Okay. So, um, hey, so we have uh, the 4 that uh, x is 5, y is 3, or x is 3, y is 5 like this. Now, with this, we celebrate and we continue to analyze the problem and think about the sum. Let's look at the, uh, at the let's, uh, let's check. Let's, uh, let's do a quick check. Right, so to check right now, x plus y, x is 3 and y is 5 and the result is 8. So the sum is 8. And uh, now you consider the sum of the squares, like x squared plus y squared. And the sum of the squares, uh, um, is actually 90 more than the product. Let's check if this is true. So we're gonna take the um, the x, which is maybe three squared first. Right, so we can take three squared, for instance, in five squared. So we can take x is three, y is five, or we can take y is five, um, rather, rather x is five and, and y is three. So if you take x is 3 and y is 5, you'd have taken, uh, yeah, x is 3, y is 5, that's okay. So you have 5 squared here. x is 3, y is 5. And this is 9 plus 25 minus 15. And this is equal to what? Will be the same as, uh, what to check if this is 19? Okay, let us analyze this. So, Right, writing properly. Let's just uh, try to write something that makes sense here. Okay, 
Now, we have the three squared, which is a nine, 25. So this one now is exactly 10. And 25 minus 15 is 10, 10 plus nine is 19. Right, the, so in other words, the solutions indeed are correct. Okay, so we conclude as follows. Thus, okay, we conclude as follows. So we say thus, the numbers, the numbers are, right, so x, equals five, y equals uh, three, or x equals three, y five, like this. So then this is uh, the result, and these are the answers to the problem. Uh, this is the solution to this particular problem. So we have solved this in a step-by-step -step manner. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, goodbye to you.